welcome to this Brit Bridge series. My name is Iggy Jang and I play concertmaster with the Brit Festival Orchestra. In the winter, I play concertmaster with the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. Now, what is a concertmaster? Well, you call it a leader in England. In France, you call it the premier violon solo. Uh, back about 400 years ago, you had smaller ensembles. And sometimes you had a conductor, but sometimes you didn't. You had someone sitting on the piano or keyboard who would lead the ensemble, or sometimes you had actually the first violin leading in the ensemble. That's why they called him a concertmaster. So nowadays, of course, you have bigger ensembles, bigger halls, so most of the time you have a conductor. Now, what does a concertmaster do where some things are tangibles, quantifiable, but some things are intangibles. So for instance, I want to make sure with the principal players, you know, principal cello, principal viola, principal second, that we coordinate our movements, the bowings. Um, we also have to pay attention to other sections, the wind section, the percussion section. So it's good sometimes to know the parts of an instrument, not just your own violin part, but other parts in the orchestra. That's very helpful. I think the most important thing is to have a good working relationship with the principles of the orchestra to make it sound like one. Something that is intangible is to have a good also rapport or working relationship with the conductor. We sort of are, we can be like buffers. You know, if the conductor gets upset, we're sort of like the buffer. We kind of take the heat for the rest of the orchestra. So that helps as well. So you just heard an excerpt from Scheherazade that was a solo that the concert master performs very often. Uh, one thing those, that is different uh, or similar to chamber music is that we have partnership with other instruments. So wh while I play this Scheherazade excerpt, the oboe, the English horn, I think the clarinet, the harp, the flute, they intertwine with me. So I can't just do my own thing. I have to pay attention to them. I'll just play a little bit of what happens next, the part where I have to coordinate with those wind instruments. So it goes like... Um, <laughs> So together, the conductor, the principals, and all the orchestra, to me what's very hard is to play together the same rhythm, to have the same pulse. Because sometimes we have different pulse if we play individually, but as a group, we have to put everything together. And I think that's very important as a concert master to sort of maybe show how you feel the beat, and you keep an eye. It's very important to keep an eye with the principles around you and the associate principles. So in my case, often I look at the cello, 
I look at the viola player and the double bass, and it's easier to keep together. So some rhythms are really hard to play together as a whole group. I'll just play, I think, one, something like the Brahms Hungarian dance, dance number one. I think you have to kind of feel the same way, and it's not always so easy. <laughs> But also, you can go as far as Argentina and play something by Piazzolla from his spring season. And that same pulse and rhythm that together as a group, you have to show it. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to stay together. Germany, can be Argentina, that pulse is very important when you play an orchestra to have this, that, that same pulse. The other thing also that is important is to be able to say something. So it doesn't matter if you play a concert master or if you play um, you know, second, third stand, it doesn't matter if you play another instrument, you want to say something. So you see something on your music, you want to say something. Um, let me see. So I played Scheherazade. That was sort of an exotic song uh, based on the 1,000 and One Night Tales. Something else that may sound exotic is something by Kachaturion uh, called Nocturne. Uh, and it's a little bit more haunting. So, Kachaturion, one of my favorite composers from Armenia. Now, these days, if you think of Armenian names, the most famous name is Kim Kardashian. Now, I don't know if Kim Kardashian is as haunting as what you just heard. In my case, I'll just stick with Kachaturion. Uh, let me see. I'd like to go back and play something else by Piazzolla. Again, by saying something, I hope I'm expressing something, I'm communicating something. So this is from his winter.
Okay? So, hope you learned a little bit of a few things about being a concert master. It's about your working relationship with everyone in the orchestra, with the conductor. It's about trying to stay together and be in sync. It's about trying to communicate something. But everyone should communicate something. We are concert masters are just one member of the orchestra. Not always so important, but sometimes we have a role to play. So, aloha everyone and take care.